Let's go polish. What's up, everybody? So, Alex and I finally decided we are going to be polishing. So, got a little bit of light left today. I already, Alex and I practiced a little bit on the back just to see what it's going to look like. We're starting with the G6 Nuvite, and um, we kind of like the Dollar Shine. We might not go all the way to a mirror shine. So, we'll see what we do from here, but definitely going to start with that. It looks awesome. So we're just gonna jump right into it today and start start polishing her. It's super exciting. <laughs> Oh, hello. It's good to see you again. It's been six months since the last time I stood in front of this thing getting ready to polish. But we are back at it today because we finally got one of these bad boys in to get this mirror to the final stage. To get rid of all those swirls and all those uckiness, make this look like a mirror. And you might be wondering why I'm wearing this beautiful outfit. Well, it's because we're gonna use the shirt. Ugh, it's a little harder than I thought. <laughs> the shirt is what we put on that to polish this. So, we're gonna polish this up, get rid of those streaks you can see, those ugly streaks. And we're gonna put the letters back on. Put the lid back on this bad boy. Don't want stuff getting in that bad boy. No, sorry. No stuff in this bad boy. There we go. And voila! Look at that. Woo! Yeah, that looks great. Does it? I'm gonna try a little you spot. You can see the little pale dimples even more, but that's okay. Cedar is upset. She's very upset. But when isn't a cedar upset? When she gets to be out here instead. Okay. Oh, look Boom, look at that. So this in there, streak free. I mean, the sun kind of went away, which was really highlighting the streaks. But it looks like it should pop out. Well, maybe not. It might be gone for the day. But it looks like streak free. So that is awesome. <laughs> so the, we're just going to get into it and polish away. Okay, so over here, 
is gonna be a good example to show you what the S is doing. So we can see super streaky after I just came over here with the uh, normal rotary buffer, super streaky. Alex is gonna come over here, hit it with the cyclo, and then we'll see hopefully all these streaks disappear. Look at that, all of those swirls, gone. It's so exciting. Woo, no more smears, no more smears. Okay, so Alex just got done cycloing the top caps here. So we are now gonna stick on the letters. Let's make it say Airstream again. All right, I'll sneak inside. It's been a long time. Okie dokie, there you go. Even more blinding. Best spin of life that ever ran a light. Let's see if that works. Well, there you have it. End cap polished and returned to her former glory of Airstream. It looks so good. I'm so excited. Me too. So, we're going to clean up for the night. Losing daylight. Losing daylight. It's like clean all this mess up and we'll continue to cycle the, the rest of this beauty tomorrow and the next. But, oh, that looks great. So, stay tuned. More. Well, obviously, I'll just cut to the next time we're polishing right about now. What's up? Back here doing some more polishing because you know we love to polish. And I think I'm just going to jump right into some fun polishing B-roll today. No need to mess around. We're just going to hop on in and have, have a good time. See some cool slow-mo probably. So let's do it. Let's jump right in. This has by far been the longest project we have done and it's taken months and months 
but it looks so good. I'm so glad we did decide to do this. Obviously, is it perfect? No, there's some spots here and there that you could spend another 10,000 hours working on this, but I am happy with the point that it's at. Um, we'll probably keep doing just itty bitty little spots here and there, but this is as good as she's gonna get for a camera. But yeah, look at that. Beautiful.